This presentation covers the new rule from the City of Arlington Legal Department regarding volunteers interacting with dogs deemed fearful or scared at Arlington Animal Services. Dogs entering the shelter are often scared because of the strange surrounding noises, smells, other dogs, and people. They can quickly become overwhelmed. Over the past two years, hundreds of dogs have been saved thanks to volunteers showing the dog that there are good people at the shelter and they have nothing to fear. Kennel staff does an amazing job, but they won't have the time to provide one-on-one -on -one time these dogs need. These are a few testimonies from volunteers who have helped scared dogs. Lily is a good example of a dog that was scared but because of a volunteer, she overcame her initial fears. Oh, oh are we happy, we happy now? now? You're so, You're happy, so now. happy now. Can you see that guys? I've seen this happen hundreds of times, over and over. They become a totally different dog once they get outside. And Lily was rescued and adopted one day after the video was posted. Come here. Come here. Are you so scared? Come here, Angel. Miley is another good example of a dog so scared she avoided all interactions until she got outside. And this is Miley today, spoiled and in a great home. Joy is one of our favorites. She became one volunteer's special project and she never gave up on her. This is my favorite adoption picture. Another reason volunteers need to interact with these dogs is to, is to assess their behavior for rescues and adopters. Posting good pictures and videos saves lives. Many dogs and cats are too scared at intake to be vaccinated. 
which leaves them at risk for communicable diseases such as parvo. This is one of my personal dogs I worked with, and that is her in my car leaving the shelter. She became famous because she was adopt she adopted a newborn kitten into her litter. In the last two years, hundreds of scared dogs at Arlington Animal Services have been saved because volunteers and staff have given them a chance. The new policy of not allowing volunteers to handle fearful dogs is a step backwards from the amazing progress. Nigel was euthanized before volunteers were assisted in helping fearfuls and Simba during the fall's ban on socialization. Volunteers are able to give these dogs the positive exposure via pictures on social media that get them into rescues or new homes. Without volunteers interacting with these dogs, they stand little chance of being saved. We are not asking to interact with dogs deemed aggressive, just the ones who are scared. I have seen it so many times, the amazing turnaround from a scared dog to an adoptable dog. We aren't asking that all volunteers have access, just specially trained volunteers who have signed waivers and assume the risk. Municipalities cannot be sued and that would be doubly protected by a signed waiver. We are asking the board to recommend to staff that a program be started that would allow trained volunteers to help save these good dogs. Thank you.